lesson 3 sinus tachycardia what is sinus tachycardia sinus tachycardia refers to a rhythm that originates in SA node and has a faster rate than 100 beats per minute if you look into the spectrum the sinus tachycardia lies on the faster end of the spectrum in most cases sinus tachycardia has a rate between 100 and 160 beats per minute but range uh, can go up to 220 beats per minute minute at the higher higher rate the diagnosis of sinus tachycardia becomes increasingly difficult and it can be uh, sometimes confusing with some of the other supraventricular tachycardias which we'll be discussing in the further uh, lessons okay so however the rate between 100 to 160 beats per minute would be in uh, uh, tachycardia sinus tachycardia but it, it may go up to 220 beats per minute now the question is how do you decide for whom is the maximum heart rate is right there could be a kid there could be a uh, middle-aged man there could be an you know, elderly person for whom what is the maximum heart rate to which the person can be tolerated right so we have a formula for that a very interesting formula right so how to calculate the maximum heart rate of a person so the maximum heart rate is equal to 220 beats per minute minus the age in years of a person for example uh, if a 20 year old man has a maximum heart rate of 200 beats per minute so how did you get the 200 beats per minute that is 220 beats per minute minus the age in years that is 20 years is equal to 200 beats per minute so anything above that level would be considered abnormal and would require further evaluation right so when it comes to tachycardia right or any of the rhythms so in the normal uh, state of person for any given patient the heart rate is determined by a constant tug of war between the sympathetic and a parasympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system which we already know and studied in our physiology right so if a parasympathetic dominates the rhythm is lower and if the sympathetic dominates the rhythm becomes speed up right so this is basic physiology just want to touch it on up right so let's look into the now when you see a strip of uh, uh, sinus tachycardia what are the differential diagnosis you're gonna bring up in your thoughts right so it could be because of exercise it could be because of anxiety or stress fever uh, hypoxemia hypotension drugs like beta adrenergic uh, agents caffeine alcohol or anticholinergic drugs anemia uh, hyperthyroidism congestive heart failure acute myocardial infection also can cause it or anything which stimulates the sympathetic activity as simple as it right so right so with that let's take a quick revision of sinus tachycardia so now when it comes to sinus tachycardia so what are the objective criteria let's go through a systematic process so you can see in the animation uh, very clear we have depicted uh, all the features of a sinus tachycardia right so the animations uh, of course we have taken a lot of trouble to create these animations uh, very specifically to give you a visual uh, a comprehension of uh, each rhythms and so that you come uh, you are visually able to uh, look into it and also uh, comprehend in a better way so that uh, the retention in your memory becomes longer right so with that uh, let's go with the uh, objective criteria of sinus tachycardia the first is rate which is very important we have more than 100 beats per minute okay regularity it's a regular rhythm because originating from the SA node a P wave is present because originate from the SA node a P wave morphology is same throughout same reason and we have P wave uh, upright in 2 3 and A wave which is cannot be seen in this particular thing but it's yes it's upright all right uh, PQRS uh, ratio is 1 is to 1 uh, PI interval is normal and consistent uh, QR width is normal but sometimes it could be a bit slightly wider right grouping is normal uh, which of course will come as the uh, if the grouping is present we'll, we'll discuss grouping when it comes right but however it is also not present it's none and drop bit is not present right this is the uh, objective criteria for sinus tachycardia right and the most fun part is 
to revise right so how fast can we uh, remember all this uh, uh, arrhythmia rhythms uh, is the challenge right so let's break that and we'll be able to uh, know remember all the uh, sign uh, uh, sorry arrhythmias and uh, with every objective criteria right so and now when you do revision we are just looking into the mainly into the positive findings of that particular arrhythmia of the objective criteria so sinus bradycardia is less than 60 beats per minute uh, a sinus tachycardia more than 100 beats per minute that's it that's for sinus bradycardia and sinus tachycardia and as the other comes we will revise and repeat again and again okay right so now let's move to the next rhythm 